Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at the incredible story of a woman who gave birth to a stone baby. Let's get started. Stone Baby when Huang Yijun was 31 in 1948, she became pregnant. While there's nothing particularly remarkable about a random human woman becoming pregnant, Yijun's case was quite unique from start to finish, as you'll soon hear. For starters, shortly after Yijun became pregnant, she found out that she had an ectopic pregnancy, meaning the egg had not attached in the uterus. In most ectopic pregnancies, the egg will implant in the fallopian tubes, but in Huang's case, the egg implanted just outside her fallopian tubes, causing what is known as an abdominal pregnancy. These are very rare, with only about 1% of all ectopic pregnancies falling into this category, about 0.0001% of all pregnancies. In abdominal pregnancies, the embryo often attaches to organs inside the abdomen, and can even attach to such things as a woman's liver, diaphragm, bowels, or spleen. Surprisingly, an abdominal pregnancy is not necessarily a death sentence for the growing baby, though there are significant risks to the mother and baby, and the few such babies who do end up surviving have a 21% chance of having birth defects, in part due to lack of amniotic fluid buffer and more compression than the baby would otherwise experience in the uterus. In Huang's case, the baby did not survive. If the baby dies when it is small enough, the tissues will typically break down and the body will get rid of it naturally. In Huang's case, though, the baby was large enough that her body was unable to do this. The doctors told her this would be the case, and they recommended she get it removed to avoid any potential health problems from it down the line. Unfortunately, the charge for the surgery, converted to US dollars, would have been about $150, or approximately $1,500 today. As Huang said, It was a huge sum at the time, more than the whole family earned in several years. So I did nothing and ignored it. In cases where the baby is too large for the body to get rid of it, instead, calcium deposits will build up around the dead tissue, turning the fetus into a so called stone baby, or more technically, a lithopedion. Women who have this happen are often unaware of it. In known cases of stone babies, the average time span of carrying the fetus is about 22 years because of this. The woman can even have other children, despite the presence of the stone baby. Of course, in Huang's case, she was well aware of the presence of the stone baby, simply unable to afford to get rid of it. Fast forward to 2009, when Huang was 92 years old, and at that point, after having carried the rather large fetus inside her body for 60 years, she finally was able to have it removed. Bonus facts. While Lithopedion was first described in the 10th century by Albucasis, the first famous case of a stone baby was from a 68-year-old woman named Kalum Chatri from France in 1582. For about 28 years of Chatri's life, she had complained of abdominal pain, and there was definitely some large, very hard mass in her abdomen. When Chatri died, an autopsy was performed, at which point the physician discovered the stone baby. This particular calcified fetus was then sold, as well as drawings of it, which sold like hotcakes. The fetus was passed around over the years before finally ending up in the Danish Museum of Natural History and was subsequently lost. Bonus fact 2. The earliest known case of a lithopedian was discovered by archaeologists who found a stone baby whose mother had lived around 1100 BC. While the actual number is probably much larger due to the women often not knowing of their calcified fetuses, to date only about 300 cases of lithopedian have been documented. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.